Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here for my May 2023 Works in Progress video. I have a lot of things to share. Uh, actually, I've been working on a lot of things behind the scenes too, but I do have a lot to share with you today. And let's just go ahead and get started. First, I wanted to share with you my orange peel pillow. Last month, I believe I shared these blocks, but they hadn't yet been sewn into the pillow and I got it quilted. I just did straight line quilting about three quarters of an inch apart. And we do have a YouTube video that shares a tutorial for how I made the orange peel sections. And I'll show you, go ahead and show you the back. I did my, my zipper with a flap to cover it on the back. And we, we also have a video for that. And these are our Bountiful Blooms fabrics, which will be in stores in September. So yes, it was really, the, really fun to get this finished up earlier. Okay, next on the table, and I'm, I'm actually just gonna give you this sneak peek. I'm not gonna move it around. This is the Bountiful quilt for the Fat Quarter Shop Bountiful Charity Sew Along. And the, a lot of their sew alongs are mysteries. This one isn't a mystery. They've already shared what the full quilt looks like. And I actually had their version here earlier in the year, which is made in Cory Yoder's sun-washed fabrics. But I did go ahead and get my quilt finished up because I have a lot of sewing that I'm doing right now for our next collection and I just wanted this out of the way so I got this finished and quilted and I just just love it. The next release, uh, th this is the sunflower block, you make two of those, that was shared on the first Friday in May and then this butterfly block with the, the flower in the middle, you also make two of these, this will be shared on Friday June 2nd so they will share the pattern with you, but yeah, they've already shown the whole quilt, so I thought it would be fine to put this on here so that you could see it. Okay, another thing that I'm working on is the my block of the month, and so these are the May blocks with all of the previous blocks ahead. I will be sharing the June block pattern on Monday, June 5th. Yes, so that will be just around the corner for you and I've already got the June block done, but I took it out of the stack, so it will be a surprise. Okay, next thing I did wanna share, this is actually something that I'm sewing along with, but I haven't finished my quilt, and, but Fat Quarter Shop sent me their quilt to share, so I thought this would be a great venue. This is the Bliss quilt from their so sampler boxes. So there was a block shared each month from, I believe, March 2022 to April 2023 or vice versa. I'm trying to think. But anyway, there are groups. They've set the blocks together in groups of four. So you'll always find um, four blocks together. And then they've got this setting with this tons and tons of flying geese. So it's really, really just a gorgeous, gorgeous quilt. And then you make these four center blocks as well. So it is a really beautiful setting. You can still buy the patterns and they also have kits for this in the fig tree fabrics. When I got this sent to me, uh, it really made me excited to get my own version finished up because I'm using all Sherry and Chelsea fabrics. So. Just, it was really fun to see this quilt and get the size and just kind of give me some ideas. I do think for my version, I will probably, uh, I'm gonna have to get all my blocks out, I guess, and just see what will work for all the flying geese because it, it really does make all of the blocks really stand out. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about, I'm getting ready to start this. That Quarter Shop is having a Halloween mystery sew along. And I am usually not a Halloween person. I love fall. I love pumpkins and leaves and all things fall, but I'm not really a Halloween person, I guess I would say. But a couple years ago, this fabric collection came out called Kitty Corn by Holly of Urban Chicks. 
and I immediately bought a fat quarter bundle. This collection was just super, super cute. And I actually even bought some fabrics for a border and a binding. And it has just been sitting on my shelf. And every summer I think, oh, I should really make something with this for Halloween. Well, anyway, Holly came out with a follow-up collection to this, which is really super cute too. I didn't buy it because I kept thinking, well, you haven't used the first one yet. And, but a fat quarter shop has designed a really fun little wall hanging and it's a free pattern. It's gonna be a sew along starting just in a few weeks, I believe. And so it's kind of like their previous sew alongs where you just get the free pattern one a week. Well, I'm going to use this fabric to sew along with that because it is so cute. Even your non-Halloween <laughs> aficionado here loves that little wall hanging. I thought it would be really cute to have a little wall hanging. And then I think what I'll do is do just a, because I'm going to have lots of leftovers. You do not need a fat quarter bundle for their project. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. I, I think they already have the fabric requirements ready so you can choose your fabrics. But I'm going to have lots and lots left over. So I thought it'll be really fun to make a fun, just simple quilt for the couch with my leftover fabrics and then have the wall hanging at Halloween time. And so once I, I'm going to be cutting this bundle up this week for those blocks. And once I get that, this all, my wall hanging complete for that Fat Quarter Shop Mystery Sew Along, then I'll know what I have left and I'll, I'll let you know what I'm going to do for my lap quilt with this. I have a pattern in mind and I, th I think I should have no problem making that. Okay, another thing I wanted to share is a little while ago I talked about the Fat Quarter Shop Brick House scrap quilt. And I receive, I, sometimes people email me and ask for what I was referring to. It's also a free pattern. And the fun thing is that she just came out with a bitty brick house. And so this is a wall hanging that's only 24 and a half by 26. And you use one and a half inch strips. So I, this is something I'm gonna, st I've got a lot of one and a half inch strips in my scrap bin. And so I'm really excited to be making this wall hanging. And I'm going to be making it this summer with, uh, I'll probably do maybe nine of my collections and do a house from each. We actually are just sharing our, gonna be sharing our 18th collection in July. So I thought I could do two wall hangings, one with the first nine collections and one with the second nine collections. So I'm gonna start on the second nine collection wall hanging first. And so hold me accountable to this. I'm gonna get this done. Another good idea is Chelsea had a free low volume scrap buster quilt. I also wanna start this. I have so many things I wanna start. But you can get the free pattern. We'll link to her video. I really wanna start this too. My low volume scraps are just going everywhere. Okay, two more things to share with you. I just got block 12 of my designer mystery quilt that I am doing with Fat Quarter Shop and I really kind of got off the wagon with this. I did the first five blocks really well and then I just kind of got so busy with favorite things and then with Bountiful Blooms that I, I have all these saved in my project box in the closet. But this came the other day and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna start with this, I'm gonna make this one and then I'll just go back and make the other six. So I got this in the mail, I'm gonna leave it on my table and get this block done and go back. Cause I really do love the blues in this collection and I already purchased backing. And so that's something else I'm gonna hold myself to do. I'm also really, I actually just have three more big quilts to make with this new fabric collection and then I'm gonna, I feel like I'm just gonna have a lot of time to catch up with all of these things. But one more thing I wanna show you, and I've actually started on this. There is a sew along going right now with Fat Quarter Shop and Susan Aki for 
you need the summer memories book, but it's for the the basket quilt. Let me see. I think it's called Summer Picnic. Yeah, so it's called Summer Picnic, and it's this really, really beautiful basket quilt. And so you do four groups of baskets at a time to make a large block. And there are 16 total blocks in the quilt. And the way they have the sew along going is you do a couple blocks at a time. And by a couple blocks, I mean the big blocks. So I am going to use all of our fabrics. Let me show you what I've kind of come up with. I'm actually going to just use Bella 200 for my background because I'm putting lots of collections together. And so I just want a nice solid background. And I am going to do their first block shows pink and red baskets. So my first block, I am going to do two pink baskets and two red baskets. But in the future, I'm her whole quilt is red, white, and blue. But I'm going to mix in a lot of other colors. So anyway, I chose some pinks. And this is from Favorite Things. And I think this is simply delightful. And, I, and this one is like a totally different pink, but it's going to be really scrappy, so it's going to be fine. This is from our Sincerely Yours. And then I've got some reds. Let me see if I can show you the other reds I've already got. So this is from Emma, and then this red is from Emma. And then, let's see, the daisy from Emma and then a busier red from Emma. So I'm mixing up the reds and the pinks for this first block. And then what I thought I would do for the baskets, and I'm gonna do this for the baskets and the whole quilt, is I'm going to use different grays. That way when I start mixing in the other colors like blues and greens, and I've gotta use the orchids from Seashore Drive. And so I thought I'll make all my basket bottoms using grays. So. This time I'm using, this gray is from Bountiful Blooms, this one's from Favorite Things, and this one is from Simply Delightful. So I'm just gonna really, you know, mix things up. I've already got my, my cutting done. I've got some half score triangle paper ready to sew, and I'm just really, really excited about making this quilt. I did wanna show you too, this is kind of like my latest favorite quilting hack. I bought some charm packs of Bella 200 and it has been so helpful to have so that I don't have to cut into my yardage when I need small pieces and so I just want to highly recommend these charm packs of Bella solids and they don't have them in all of the colors but I love that they do have them in this Bella 200 and I'll link that for you too because I have been using this for all sorts of things okay I thought I was done but one more thing I was supposed to share this when I shared the pillow. Back in 2022, I actually started thinking about the orange peel thing and I made some sample blocks. And then when I was working on my pillow, I actually, we had to film video to demonstrate. And so I, I had some extra blocks that we used for the video. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna keep making these blocks from all of our collections. And one of these days, I'm gonna have a scrappy orange peel quilt with a lot of our different collections in there. So this is gonna definitely be a long-term works in progress. I'm gonna get it a box very soon and just keep, it, this one might even take me years, but really excited about that. Really excited about these projects and hope that maybe some of these have given you some ideas to work on as well. Okay, so that's it for the May 2023 Works in Progress video. I hope that you enjoyed some of the ideas that I shared and they will give you some inspiration for your own summer quilting projects. I will have a lot more to share with you next month. And if you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by. <music>